back to my channel. Just with Isaac, he's reversing right now, so he's still. <laughs> Great timing <coming> stuff. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're going to Sydney. After work first. Um, so Isaac has to work, so I have to wait around for him. I think he finishes at like two or three o'clock. If we're lucky, it's going to be earlier, but we don't know. It depends how busy work is. Yeah. Oh, there's a dog in the road. Careful. Anyway. And yeah, so I'm gonna have to wait around. I'm just gonna sit the live here, I think. Um, so Isaac has left for work and I'm just sitting in the car. He told me to move my suitcase so you can see. So I've done that. We've got some snacks, but I think I'm going to get some more later when that's a bit more time to leave, maybe. really want a hot chocolate and, like, a Vegemite spill or something. So I feel like I'm going to be doing that soon. And then... I don't know. <laughs> Poor Yazzie. All alone for, like, four hours. It's actually really cloudy today, Mogga. I feel like it's going to rain, so if I go to the shops and look around, if I come back to the car, I'm going to get wet. So, not really looking forward to that. I was going to go to the movies, but um, going to the movies by myself doesn't really seem fun. And I feel like I'd feel more of a loner sitting there by myself. <laughs> um, yeah, so... Oh, it's just so cold outside. Eh, okay. I think I'm going to get a coffee or a hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. What am I talking about? I don't drink coffee. Um, oh, my gosh. Coffee, anyone? <laughs> He's got heaps of stuff here. We've even got some sunny. Sun <laughs> Are you kidding me? Ooh. Groovy. Um, so I just found these in Isaac's car, I believe. Yeah, I don't know where these came from. They look very big on my face though. Okay, let's take those off. So much effort. Um, so literally walking out of Woolworths when I got these Vegemite scrolls, so delicious. But anyway, I was walking out of Coles. Coles. I was walking out of Woolworths and my shoelace comes undone. I was like, oh no, I won't double knot it today. It'll be fine. No, just don't even do that. Wait. So I'm going to have to double knot this one as well so that that doesn't happen to me again. Literally walks across the road all the way in the car park. Everyone's just staring at me because my shoelace is undone. I'm like, yeah, I know it's undone. I can't do it right now. So anyway, I got my... Almond um, hot chalk. I've been really into these lately. Normally I get a chai, but I only really like it from a couple of places and they're too far away to walk, so I can't be bothered. And then these Vegemite scrolls. So keen. I was going to get from Baker's Delight, but again, too far away to walk, so I'm not going there. Hope this tastes good. Hmm. A minute. This cinnamon, they're not even Vegemite. They still taste really good though. <clears throat> okay guys, I just had the best idea ever. I know what we're gonna do today. So just sitting here eating my um rest of my scroll and then I'm thinking we can go to Vinny's. We'll just do like a thrift shop whole thing. We have a few a few thrift shops around so I mean I haven't gone in a while may as well yeah so we can do that today while we wait for Isaac to finish work before we go to Sydney you never know what you're gonna find when you go to Vinny's or um, a thrift shop or whatever I'm so excited so okay basically this is a little rundown of what we're doing in Sydney so the trip all started when um, I 
Okay, so I've been wanting to do this course in Sydney um, or Melbourne, I'm not sure yet, but for next year. And the um, place that I want to do it at is hosting like a study day thing. Anyway, so I was like, oh, that would be really cool to go to, like just to see if I like the place and whatever. So basically that's on tomorrow, which is Saturday, um, from like 9.30 to 1.30. So I'll be going to that and then... Yeah, so I was originally just going to go by myself and stay at my grandma's house because she lives in Sydney and um, just hang out with her. But my friend messaged me and he said, oh, I want to come. So now we're going and we'll probably go shopping and go out as well. And I think we're meeting up with a few of our Sydney friends too, so that will be good. And yeah, so we're going to be doing that and... I feel like it'll be really fun to do something like that because we haven't done that in like <laughs> I don't know man, like two weeks. <laughs> Shit. Our whole group is like that though, like we all want to do stuff all the time. So we plan these trips and we just go on them. And it's the best thing ever because we're just doing stuff all the time and having fun, which is what life's all about, you know? I'm actually excited. I can't wait to go to Vinny's. I literally haven't gone there maybe in two months. I hope, um, uh, it's school holidays. I hope that there's actually some good stuff there. No one's bought stuff yet. Hmm. Oh well, what's meant to be will be. So I'm just going to finish this and we go. gosh guys I just got the best stuff I'll show you guys when I get to the car oh my gosh guys so it's literally raining outside I had to run to the car my arm is so sore so I had to carry this massive bag I was not expecting to get that much stuff from Vinnie's like literally that was like the best trip of my entire life just then so I'm excited to show you guys I'll just put this in here I'm literally so Fucking excited! This is literally the best. Okay, so the first place I went to was just our um, biggest Vinny shop in Bogger. Um, oh, that stuff's gonna be done, but um, okay. Maybe I'll start with. Okay, so I went to an opportunity shop, and holy crap, normally there's like nothing good in there. Like, and I'm just kind of looking around, I'm like kind of scouting, I'm like, oh, that could be alright. But anyway. Guess what I got? So I get these corduroy pants. They're actually like flare out a little bit. Um, not really sure about the brand or anything. Yeah, I don't know. It's got like a thing there, but. Look, they're so cute. I don't even think I did a try on for these ones. I might do a try when I get to Sydney so I can show you guys. But the funny thing about this story is once I got all of these items, I think there was like three pairs of pants I got from this place. I go up to the counter. I'm like, I know that they don't do FPOS. And I'm like, oh, crap. I've only got like a $5 note and then a heap of like gold coins. I'm like, I hope this is like enough to get all this stuff. Anyway, so I'll tell you the prices of all of them. But I ended up only spending it $21 because I didn't have um $30 in coins and the like, old ladies there are so nice so they just let me take them I was like oh that is like literally it literally made my day but these were $12 originally I'm so excited to wear these so cute Then I got white corduroy pants um, and they've got like a label on the bum of these but I don't really know if I like it or not and uh, oh my gosh so I was like tossing up whether to try even try these on because um, I'm normally like a size 8, a 10 with a belt okay um, 
these pants are a size 14. Okay, so I'm kind of crazy to get these, but they were $4. And I'm going to wear a belt with a lot of buckles, like holes, so that I can actually wear them. Because I was stoked. I was like, I have to get these. As if I'm not going to get them when they're $4. I don't care if I have to wear them. Last thing I got from this op shop was Levi jeans. Like, yes, I know. Like, how friggin' good is that? So they look like this. They're just like plain Levi's. Um, and the bottoms aren't, they're a bit flared, but they're not like, they're more just like straight cut. But oh my gosh, they fit so perfectly. Like, they're a bit tight, but. Whatever, you can't really go wrong, can you? So... These were $15, so altogether it was like 31 or something, but I got them for 25 for all of those pairs of jeans. Like, I'm sorry, but if you went to the shop and you just got a pair of corduroy jeans, they're normally like, what, $80? Like, how ridiculous is that? And I just got all three of those for $25. So, um, love that for me. Okay, so keeping with the pants trend, this is what I got from the Vinnies. Sorry. Um, so keeping with the corduroy trend, these ones are navy. Super cool. And they're more like a straight cut, but um, when you roll them up, it, it's more like a baggy vibe. I did take a thing of this, a try on. I do try ons for all of them once I get to Sydney anyway, but I did do a couple when I was at the shop. So they look like this. They're a bit dusty. I gotta wash them, but they're pretty cool. And they just look like that on the back, just plain. Um, the bottoms look like. Someone was just staring at me, cool. Um, just like kind of straight. But these are so cool. I'm so excited to wear these. Um, and I paid $8 for these. Literally, if you don't op shop, what are you doing? Because this is the best thing ever. Um, okay, so the next thing I got, um, I really needed, like, a knit jumper, and I've been saying it for so long. Like, I will go into the shop, though, and I'll be like, oh, I don't want to pay, like, um, 50 to $100 for a knit jumper. Like, that's just ridiculous to me. So, I found this, uh, Vinnie's, and it's actually Gander. It's just, like, a plain knit it's quite nice actually and i'll wear this to work as well because at my work um you're kind of running around a lot for customers getting shoes or clothes or whatever and like you'll be wearing a jumper one minute and then you'll need to take it off the next because you're just boiling from going up and down a ladder or something um anyway so this one's gandal like i said and i paid eight dollars for this one so that's pretty good. I mean, their their knits are pretty reasonable anyway, but um, you can't really go wrong if it's eight dollars. <laughs> um, okay. The next thing I've got are these pants. Well, these are so freaking sick. Like I, when I seen them, I was like, hmm, I'm gonna have to try these on because I wasn't sure if they were even gonna fit. They look so big on the rack. And they are a little big, like, I feel like, it says they're a size 8, but I feel like they're more a 10, but with these, this little, um, tie-up belt, I feel like it fits. So they look like this, um, it's really hard to show you, but I did have a little clip, I'll show you that. But yeah, they're really cool. 
so excited to wear these. Um, how much did I pay for these? These ones were twenty dollars. Oh my gosh! They're saying these are an extra small. Like I'm an extra small and or a small, like size eight, six, whatever. Um, and they were quite big on me, so they're quite a big fit. And they're really cool. They've got like this material inside, so it'll keep you warm. I feel like this would be really cool for a festival that was needed a bit more warmth, you know? They're actually so cool. And on the back, they've got like these little um, things on the zip. How cool. They're freaking sick. It's got like a little thing there. Oh my gosh, I just freaking love these. These are going to be so awesome. Okay. Also, it's currently like 12 o'clock and I've got two hours or so till Isaac's finished work. So I feel like I've done quite well for the time that is left. Um, okay, and I got one last thing. So this is actually a pretty cool top that I thought would look really nice with just some jeans, wear to work, casual. Um, so I paid $6 for this shirt. It just says life is good on it. And it's not too long like I feel like it's about just past my hips maybe um but yeah I probably wear this like in a little bowl or I don't know I'd wear it just down as well but it looks like that and the back has a little smiley face on it quite happy with that oh look what I just found down the bottom it says do what you like like what you do and it's like a little one of those like little tags on there that's so cool yeah i love that i'm not following this very well it's all just like sitting here now gonna put it back in that bag but yeah oh my god so let's tally up how much I just spent so it was like 21 at the other place and 42 at the other so that's 63 dollars all together like that's not even if you think about it, 63 dollars that won't even get you a pair of corduroy pants or it might just get you one if you get it from like a cheaper place what the hell I did so well Anyway, so that was my little try on slash haul of my thrifting. That was like literally so good. I'm normally really lucky with getting stuff actually, which is pretty good. And I feel like I always find good stuff when I just go by myself. I feel like when you go with people, if unless they are really into it as well, then it's a good time. But if they're kind of like not the best at... If they don't want to look through every single thing like I do, then it's kind of like, oh, you're not going to find good stuff because you're kind of vibing them. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. Anyway, so that's what I've got. Um, don't know what I'm going to do now. Probably just sit in here and listen to music. Of course, it stops raining now that I'm actually in the car. The whole walk back, it was sprinkling... I was gonna say that's really bad. I'm having a lot of bad luck, but I just got all those clothes, so I can't really say that anymore, can I? But yeah, I'm so excited! I can wear some of these clothes um, in Sydney, and yeah. <laughs> 